Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing and looking more into the GAN 356i3. I think I got that right. So, um, this is a really great speed cube. It does weigh 90 grams, but it has amazing corner cutting. Like, look at that. And it just turns extremely well. But the charger is the best part. You put it on the charger, and then it starts blinking red when it's not fully charged. But then when you take it out, let's just pretend that it's still in there. And it, this is what it looks like when it's fully charged. When you take it out, it's a little hard to take out, but it's charging. Like, when you when you go to take out your phone charger, just imagine this is a phone. Um, when you go to take out your phone charger, you have to pull with a little bit of force. So it makes sense that you have to pull with force to get the cube out. Then also, the Cube Station app. It is amazing. I thought there was going to be a CFOP tutorial, but people post CFOP algorithms. I'll learn it eventually. But um, yeah, they've got a tutorial for learning the Cube, um, how it works, and I'm not sure if they have the beginner's method algorithms on there, but then again, you can just go to rubix.com, <coughs> sorry, jperm.net to... Um, and get to the solving part. I haven't gone to jperm.net for my solves yet, but it is a pretty good website. I've been on there and I just see the algorithms, I recognize them, but the Cube Station app, it has multiplayer, it has a timer, it has scrambles for you, and it's just awesome. GAN really outdid themselves with the GAN 356i and all of their smart cubes. Their, this one is probably their best one. I have not had the other ones, but I'm going to rate this cube a 4.6 out of 5. It's a decent speed cube, but it could be better. I understand that it is a smart cube and that it connects to your phone, but like the GAN 11M Pro, it it's so much better. I mean, the corner cutting can be better, like, if you have the right tensions. And it has corner-to-core -core magnets, so it snaps together if you want it to, or it can really just do whatever you want it to. It's so much more customizable. And the magnets are adjustable. Let me grab a screwdriver real quick. Uh, there's not one up here. Okay, never mind. I don't need a screwdriver. Never mind. But, um, yeah, you just put the screwdriver on here, and you turn, and it adjusts the magnet strength, so it's still pretty customizable. But anyways, see ya.